What is up guys? This is Luca. I don't have my mic set yet, but here we're gonna walk you through the mods of the 22 Indian Chief. Uh, off rip, we have a stage two from Indian, which comes with the air filter, uh, a bigger injector kit, and uh, it turns it from a 111 to a 116. Uh, I think there's something done to the clutch as well, I'm not sure. But it's the stage two Indian kit. Very, very good. Very good bang for your buck here. You see the 116. Um, as you can see very <laughs> clearly right up above that, I have the uh, Chieftain Dark Horse emblem. I swapped out. It comes with like a sans font Indian and Chief. Um, it's nice, but I wanted something that went more along with the black and kind of chrome machined theme. So that's why I went with this one. I really like how it matches everything we've got going on on this bike. And then after that, I mean, <laughs> this is a very minor mod. I'm gonna sneak it in there. This is a, a hockey puck by Fix Puck. Uh, this guy over in Michigan, he makes these pucks to raise the stance of your bike. So that if you, uh, well, when it's parked, I mean. So when you raise the stance of the bike with springs, you get this to make the bike stand up straighter so it's easier to lift off for you to take off. Uh, we got a Lawless Garage uh, crash bar. It's really good. Brandon by Castle recommended that one. It's really cool. The only thing it changes is if you can see here, the shifter is right next to the bar. So you have to kind of adjust how you uh, use it, especially if you wear boots like I'm doing now. The tip will hit sometimes. So you just have to make a minor adjustment to uh, how your riding style. Nothing major, nothing that should subtract from it. In fact, actually you can use it as a highway bar sometimes because it is so close to your foot. Then. Moving on, we have the 10 inch apes from Indian. They're really good. They changed the entire like feel of the bike. The posture is now comfortable for me at least. I'm 5'10". Um, the reach isn't so much as aggressive as it was stock with the drag bars. And uh, because they're so tall, they don't fit in my little makeshift garage. Uh, so I had to install the uh, Combustion Industries inversion mounts to make the uh, mirrors go downward. And I really like it, it's a cool mod. Right next to that, you see the PSR, PSR levers. These are adjustable and they really change the feel of the bike as well. Um, and then we got the exhaust. This one I wanna make a separate video for. The exhaust right here, this is a two and a one. Uh, so Wiki Shorty, it is insanely good. It is loud when you need it to be, it's loud at idle and then it's like mellows out when it has airflow going through it. So that's through, uh, between 1,000 and 3,000 RPMs. And then it opens wide up again when you <laughs> wide open throttle, it's sick. This is my favorite mod of the bike. This one really changed everything. This was the, the custom springs from, uh, I picked up this build from the forum. I'm not too familiar with the name anymore, but it's um, sport springs that raise the bike about one inch. And my mechanic actually had to fabricate this custom because uh, they have this amount of space, which is you know about half an inch of space between the nut and the way it ends. Um, because the factory one was a little thicker here, this this joint. So my mechanic painted this and machined it, similar to the fins here. It was amazing. It's an amazing custom job. He's the best. Ray, you're the man. Uh, Lastly, oh, I guess the saddle mint seat. That's the latest mod I did. This is a really cool seat. It looks very aesthetic and it's also very comfortable. Very immediate no, um, uh, immediate notice. It's a no, It's immediately noticeable. The way it reduces uh, vibration and uh, when you go over holes, like the abruptness of impact. It really it does absorb impact that's all I got the last mod I'm gonna do is uh, the fairing here I want to be between either a batwing which would look something like this 
in terms of like width. Either a bat wing or a, do we have one here? No. Or a type of like club style, like the kind of fairing, a quarter fairing that you see on the Dynas. Actually, they have it on the Sport Chief that kind of style. I was looking at, at making that as soon as I got this bike back in 2021. So I'm glad that the new Chiefs, the new Sport Chiefs wisened up and they, and they applied that from factory. I think this bike is perfect for me. I've done everything I wanted to do to it. So I don't think this is better than a Sport Chief for me. But if I had to go back or if I, if I were to pick between the uh, Chief Dark Horse or the Sport Chief, I would start with a sport chief. It's a much better platform to work on. It does most of everything that I've already done, like the springs. Um, it even comes with actually dual uh, fork, dual brakes, Brembo brakes, and inverted forks. It's definitely a way better platform to work off of, but I got this as soon as it dropped and I had to work with what I had. Um, anyway, I'll make an exhaust, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the exhaust for 